You got snitched on in Wayside, right? I got snitched on by a legend, a legend homie. Like he was saying, he came in the tank and like Wayside, like this is a place where people come in and come out every day or you might just be in there. So like he came in there and they told me you got a homie down there. And I'm like, who is it? So I go down there. I ain't never seen this guy in my life. And then he tried to play the play like, oh, he's white. I'm black, so I'm really from Hoover. He's not. I'm like, no. When these dudes come in, they can't, they, they, like, I'm in there with people that, that know who I am or, or they can make a call. Or, what would I look like going in the county and then saying I'm from Hoover and I'm not and I'm just a, a white boy from fucking Encino? Like, that's a death trap. It's not. But, yeah, he told on me, so, boom. Like, I already got down with two or three people. And, you know, I'm here, we run back phase. So, if I got a homie in there, he needs to run my phase right after me. So, when he got in there, he tried to get at me. Like, hey, you got down with any people? I'm like, what? And the, and, the, and the other dude, he told him, like, yeah, you already fought. Who you gonna fight? And I'm like, yeah, who the, whatever, you gonna fight. So, they ended up buying some fights up before lunch. So he ended up getting whooped, and then he like, oh, I need your face too. And I'm like, what? Bro, you just got like eat up. And I just stopped eating and really getting like maxed out. Like, and uh, trying to fight him, and then we cool, boom, bam. I got his bag, like his, uh, his food and shit. So like, I'm going to ta- take it before one of them take it. You understand? Like, I'm not going to let them take it. I'm going to take it. But. Before count time, you know they do like three counts. The first two counts is whatever they just count in their body. The third count, they want to see your wristband and shit. So when they came in there to do that shit, when they got upstairs, bro, the sheriff walked by him. He kind of gave him a look. When he looked at him, and they looked at him, and they're like, "What?" And he like, he like shook his face. It was crazy. I was trying to show you, he like, shook his face, and then they looked at him like, "You okay?" He like, nah, and they like got him out of there. And then like an hour or something later, we think it was cool. We and they're about to go to sleep, whatever. And um, they come running that motherfucker. Grab four people. Me, um, the other, the other two people he fought and one more person. And they ended up walking us through a little corridor. And um, every time somebody got right there, it was positive. Positive. <laughs> positive. And when they got to me, it was positive. And um, basically he told on us, but he never like, really press charges or nothing like that. But yeah, he ratted on us and I ain't never seen him, never heard of him. Um, kind of find out he was like, you know, one of the homies, like long lost cousins. Like I hear you got that bad, like it'd be somebody's cousin and they try to like bang that game. And it don't come out, it, it don't it don't go out there, you know, like, cause I ain't got nothing to worry about. You know, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Instagram, I'm on all that shit. And if I was fraudulent, if I was fake, I ain't say I had no flaws, but I ain't got no flaws or none of that. But I'm saying somebody would have been, came at me from out here, bro. Like, these people, it's crazy, bro. It's, it's crazy. It's a lot of shit to deal with, them. And then, you know, like me, with the PTSD shit, like, coming from over there, you got to worry about walking out the yard and getting smoked. Or you got to worry about 12 pulling you over six, seven times a day harassing you. Tell me they gonna beat your ass. And when I move somewhere else, and like a little, more, it costs a little bit more to live over here. It's different because I see the police sometimes, and I still get nervous, like shaking, like I got something, like, and I be like, snap out right of it, like, but it's crazy. You don't fuck with people. You don't really go nowhere no more. You don't, it's, you don't trust nobody. Nobody know where you live. Yeah, the shit is crazy. Yeah. Which makes your channel even more interesting because you're putting your face out there. That go against, you know, that go against everything that I, uh, you know, that I grew up. It sounds like it, yeah. It did, but, you know, I was like, because why, why not us and everybody else doing it? You know, like, you got all these other cribs that's running the, if any, any rapper from LA, they're there. You know, like, if they, they got their hands in that shit, nobody from that section got it because they too scared to worry about what somebody else is going to say or they don't got nobody that's saying and shit. You know, we don't got old people, older homies that's like on us, like do this, do that. Nah, everybody just like kill this, kill that or, you know, but it's no, it's crazy, bro. It's either going to make you or break you. Yeah. I think it's a good thing that you're doing. Um, if anything, you could be maybe changing somebody's life. I don't know. Let me ask you all of this. What is, what is the mission behind your channel? 
And I, I would hope that I could stop somebody from doing the shit that I did, or I could, okay. I could hope that the person that thinks that they was about to try to do this shit and stop them, because I'm telling them the truth, the raw shit. Like I ain't seen people, <laughs> like it's it, man, it ain't it's not all it, it, it's a, you know, it's not all it is. I mean, it's not, it's not as good as it looks, you know. That's that's the whole thing. I'm just trying to open people's eyes because a lot of people be on YouTube and you would see them, but they from like. Atlanta and shit or whatever and they're speaking on LA shit they got a lot of these people fooled and they and they and they saying they from like these games and they just fooling people and they not telling them the truth like I'm just trying to keep it real you know around them a little bit here and there but you know I'm, I'm getting really uh to the point you know I'm getting to the point you, know, you gotta get your foot in the door somehow but that's the whole thing you know that's the whole thing it's not you gotta let them know because you got a lot of people that really want to game and it's like the why the why nobody and then it's not like it was it, the generation before me like they was you know they was, they was hitting snitches you know they was looking out when you go to jail they was it was it was more of it was cold now it's just like oh let's get high you dress and go um, pimp and go to a party like so you know it's, it's shit different 